The next thing we're going to talk about is our integrated credit card solution uh, with the Verifone MX925. Now, depending on what unit Verifone sent you, you may have a different looking uh, spot where the uh, Ethernet cable and the power cable plug into based on what we call the I.O. block, which is this uh, little block in the back of the unit. And it comes out, you press down here and slide it out. And this one, for example, is just simply the block like this. And uh, there are several different configurations. This one, as you can notice, is just this device. Uh, there's nothing attached to it special. So if yours looks like this, you simply slot it in the spot here, press T foot, click. Then what you'll need to do is plug in the power cable. The power cable looks like this. And you can look and see power input is all the way to the left. Plug that in. And then you'll need to plug in the ethernet cable. And there are several different inputs inside here. There are three actually that look very similar. The ethernet port is the one closest to the power supply. So you need to take your ethernet cable, plug that in here, and then plug this end of the ethernet cable into a switch nearby. Your Verifone device may also come with the standard unit like this, but with, uh, call this little dongle here, a little extra cable and the IO block might look something like this. So if you get this scenario, what you want to do is there's this little spot here. Uh, it kind of looks like a razor blade. It says this slides out. So you'll slide this out like that. Take this end of this device, hook it in here like this, and you'll fill it, click in. You'll slide this metal piece back on top. Then you slide the IO block, similar to the other ones, but you just slide it right back in here, like so, push it up, and flip, click into place. Now, instead of plugging in the ethernet cable and the power cable directly into the device itself, you plug it into the end of this cable. So what you have here is you have a spot for a power cable and a spot for an ethernet cable. Again, similarly to plugging in directly into the unit, you plug your ethernet cable in here, this side goes into a switch, plug your power cable into here, and then this into your battery backup. And the last configuration you may see is very similar to the one we just looked at. You have your IO block that again slides into the back of the MX unit. And instead of, again, directly plugging into the device itself, it also has a long cable with this sort of stick at the end. And the same deal, once you have it plugged in, the IO block plugged into the device itself, ethernet cable into the port that says ethernet, and power cable into the power spot. 